Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Now I'm going to try and get another two uploads this evening, but the first story, I think this is more of a damage limitation. I'll explain why I believe that. A G4S driver who stole almost a million pound in cash, the, the headline said a million, but it wasn't. Joel March, 36, fled with deposit boxes after he abandoned the cash in transit vehicle in a leafy South London suburb on on April the 23rd. He's from Clapham and he admitted theft by employee and concealing the proceeds of crime and was jailed for four years and eight months. Four years and eight months, like, hear it out. The prosecutor, Alex Agbamu, told the London Crown Court that March had arrived for work that morning and picked up the van with 48 containers of cash, totaling £916,190 in one van. But the court heard that instead of delivering the cash around Around the Holborn area, the father of three had driven to Lark Hall Rise in Clapham, ditched the van and fled with the cash, took 43 of the 48 boxes containing £889,440 that was missing in total from the van. He added that the van had been left in the street and there was no CCTV cameras there and for a number of hours nobody even noticed this van was missing so I don't know what their GPRS tracking... I don't know what their protocol is, but nobody realised the van was even gone. The firm had to use a spare key to enter the van once they realised it had been missing uh, hours later. Joel March had already gone, leaving his personal work phone, body armour and keys in the ignition and a bag of cash on the back of the van. He was arrested the very next day at a property in Clapham, South London, where police found only 30 grand, £29,600 they found. Mr Agbamu said the morning before he was arrested, Joel had spent around £1,500 in JD Sports. So as soon as he'd robbed his employee for nearly a million pounds, the first thing he did was go to JD. Like, this is just... This is almost comical. The court heard he refused to tell the police where the cash was, and this, for me, is like the biscuit. He takes the biscuit. They said that his client had racked up 10 grand in debt and had a background of mental health issues and had become disillusioned with his employer. Why are they employing people, firstly, that are in a lot of debt and with mental health issues? Should, should you really, Would you really give, like, a mental health patient a million pounds and say, go and drop this somewhere? You wouldn't do it, would you? Like, it doesn't make any any sense even bank managers like a basic bank manager job you'd have to have a good credit rating for example because they don't want people giving advice for mortgages if you've got bad credit so i don't understand why they're giving people with mental health issues and they're in a lot of debt and be and they're disillusioned but, um yes i don't understand why they're giving them these jobs that's the first part then the second part is he refused to tell them where the money was the judge said it was a breach of trust no shit Sherlock. However, she did not accept that she said it was not an impulsive act and that March's defence of being disillusioned was not a credible explanation. G4S driver Joel March was jailed in a London Crown Court for four years and eight months for stealing nearly £1 million from one of the security vans, then concealing the stolen money from police after being arrested. So what happened was, he had received a letter from his employer saying that they wasn't happy with his work or something and that for him was that was the be all and end all then he went and took this eight uh eight hundred thousand pound so that he didn't cooperate he took the money and now he's got four years and eight months to serve so that means he's going to serve two years for nearly one million pound that he hasn't given back like I, I, like my mind is blown they haven't even released his name his picture what's that about that seems weird to me it's almost like they're trying to lessen this down but due to the fact of how bizarre it is i feel like it has to be shared how is this in any which way uh, um deter people from doing this and, and why was he working for them in the first place i want to hear what all you guys have to say on this so please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe the scar city studios youtube channel peace